make sure your designs and everything is final then only then move to the python code because it makes uh, much more easier to focus on code and then you don't have to keep uh, changing your style view so once it's uh, i have already finalized this so how do i do it is similar to this just control hit save as so control hit save as it will say it will provide you the ui file i already created a ui file you can just rename it to the any other login page or anything else so i'll just create a login for the specific page login demo and just hit save all right yes so now uh, basically we have saved the login do uh, demo file so now what we need to do like we already have created the dot ui form but we need to convert it to the into the code form which is dot pi format so how we can do it we can easily easily do it by for none of the following commands so before you obtain the pi code you can only obtain it with the following and of code you need to enter in your terminal and which is i will give you just showing which is this which is by uc5.x name of the file dot ui so the ui file name of the ui file dash o and the name of the file which you want to convert it to the pi format it could be any name so let's do this so it should be pi uc5 dash and it's it is x so which are changing it to so from we are converting so the converting the file which we are converting from so which is login demo dot ui and from two is dash o, dash o and i can give it to any name just login demo dot five or you can just share write any name it will share, uh, create it just hit enter now once you see this you will be able to observe that i it doesn't show anything to me right now right so what you have to do is just once you just wait for it two to three four seconds you will be able to see that there will be a file which is which you have just created using the same name and but it's a pi format which is login demo as soon as you create uh, click on it you will see that there is a bunch of code which you have already formed and therefore you can just literally focus on now joining everything together you can also run it by when you see this this is the same file you can make sure this is what we created so this is the same thing right okay so this is the same thing which we have already created so now what we can do is basically uh, create uh, now join all submit buttons and everything and obtain the uh, data box so now already as i already created the login page for the previously selected uh, window which is this one so i will just show how i connected in the different different edits all right so first of all uh mean every time don't for uh, don't forget to write self dot main window equals to main window uh trust me this will help if you are changing any to the other window and everything and just create an object and making it to the self object which we are getting the one of the windows once you have the, all the code all you need to do is go all the way down and just add the following things which is just one connect button in order to connect from specifically really so uh, this is the submit button so all the action is been done by submit button however we need to get that password and uh, username too right so in order to get that what you can do that um, before the submit button you can ask for the specific values of pass value value and uh, i usually ask for the password and username so you can keep either either way so I, um, what i did before that i created a queue message box so this is the a default package you can uh, um, 
literally really call from the library so that's why these are the format of the libraries which you might need and then once you have that what you can do you need to create a handler so how before that how i did the submit button so submit button is working as if as soon as, as soon as i click on submit button some action should be taken right so in order to do that what i did is self dot button submit dot click dot connect this is the code and then inside that it goes the method so this is the button name then if it's clicked connect to the specific method or do the specific action and so i just pass in the object of the specific so basically i pass on the method so in this it won't ask for, uh, we, uh, we, uh, if you do the following in brackets you will, you will get error so you don't need it specifically all it needs is the name of the method so once you pass the name of the method it will then able to run that method so if you click on that uh, submit button it will run the following method so now if i click on the method if, uh, sorry click on the submit button i should able to generate the following messages so what i did i obtained a q box q message box so basically i just stored in the variable and from the this two fields which is we already have created which is text password dot text and text uh, surname dot text so basically it's this label so when you see at the very top uh, you can find the variable you specifically ask for the username users for to generate a password use the same name for taking the password in and username so basically i just i'm storing in one of the variables to make it much more concise so i can use it further i'm just right now uh, keeping it to the one user so right now if the password is admin and the username um, equals to grand admin then i will just print the welcome to your youtube channel it would be in the console however i wanted to print it on the window not on the console so in order to do that that's why i use the message box so i can, I can just use the message dot set text whatever the text you wanted to set if the your user puts the right password and uh, username and once uh, once you're able to see that you can just write message dot execute and app dot quit so you can just quit quit the app if you've uh, got the right username and password and if it, this um, uh, if proper uh, admin and passwords are not written uh, username and password are not proper then you can do is show them a continuous form of invalid uh, username or messages that helps them to write a proper name so now i will just demonstrate how we did it so just run it again so just it would be so now when you see this this is the admin so user pass value so password is admin and the username is grant admin so if i submit so what is doing as soon as i submit right now nothing is happening it's just uh, storing the value inside the two different text dot password dot text which is this password and username dot text which is a grant a grant admin and it's just storing inside this values i have done anything yet as soon as i press submit and when it's storing is it's storing at the this line so you this one and this one so it's storing at the very top so as soon as you click submit uh it what it will do that this line of the code will run it will try to connect that action to the specific method so as soon as you click submit you, this uh, entire method will run which helps us to understand that hey if i click on it you just check it that these two fields are right or wrong so click on it hey it's right then do its hello world and if i place ok application will be closed because uh, we are just wrote uh, if it's okay and if you click okay i uh, you will click quit now Sorry. Okay. Now, I just rerun it. All right. Now, if I'm just writing something else and just submitting it, 
it will go as else part which says that invalid options and you can just rewrite it and it can keep going forever till the right password is not entered in the my next video i'll be helping you out guys with how to integrate uh, one of the files and how to integrate the with the file system and you can just store in new users and new windows every time stay tuned and i hope you like this videos please like share and comment and please also provide the feedbacks if you uh if you need to uh, if you guys feel that uh any of the other interesting topics which i should do please write in the comments below i would uh, love to do it